Okay, I'm back. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah. Oh, uh, shoot. I hate that when that happens. Um, the other side effects as far as the increase in appetite starts with mechazepine. And my increase is 45 milligrams for this month. Um, he's increased, I guess, it's just my doctor is trying to get me off my anxiety medicine. And I think it's probably a good plan. I just don't really like the side effect of the appetite. The increase in appetite is my concern, but I, if I, I think I could find ways of staying active and trying to probably eat the right foods by going to see a dietitian and um, not eating eating a bunch of sweets and stuff like candy bars, which for some reason I've been craving Butterfingers and uh, Reese's Pieces or Reese's Buttercups <laughs> or uh, Fruit Loops cereal things like that. Um, but I don't think it's bad. Uh, any other side effects um, with the clazepam or clazepine or clazepam, which is one milligram for anxiety? Um, I felt tiredness in the beginning. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure which medications that causes dry mouth, but I know two medications causes increase in appetite, which is I think the sleep medicine, and uh, you'll have to go back and review in my other video which I've shared on um, what medications I've been taking and the bertazepine um, I think causes drowsiness and tiredness um, and most definitely the sleep medicine causes tiredness and um, it really helps me sleep really um, well sleep but helps me sleep better um, I don't know how much longer I'll be taking that um, I guess it depends on the visits when I see my psychiatrist. He didn't say stop taking it or anything like that. So, um, the, that's the only thing I can think of as far as side effects, um, that I can think of that I've felt, um, I feel like sometimes I'm jumping all over the place where I have like a lot of ideas and things that I want to do, um, and get done and feel anxious about. I sometimes, when I feel really like I'm really anxious and excited or something really good is going on, I feel like anxiety and then I feel like the anxiety, anxiousness, actually the anxiousness then comes anxiety because then it's just, I don't know, feeling overwhelmed, joy or what, then I start to feel the anxiety and kind of panic because, um, I don't know, my mind or the chemicals in my mind or whatever, whatever it is. Um, maybe you might be able to comment and maybe tell me because I'm not sure. But I do think I'm kind of kind of exerting myself, trying to do too many things at once, um, like going places a lot and um, buying a lot of paintings and things. Just trying to keep busy and then movies I'll rent and then sometimes I it's just like I don't around get around to watching them. Um, and the other thing, um, I feel between being sick since June 4th, since I've really gotten really, really sick, because I know I've always had depression, I've always had panic anxiety, but, um, it's just everything snowballed June 4th with, you know, my depression wasn't as bad, but it was getting bad, and, um, the anxiety attacks, you know, back to back and then the um, fear and worries and things like that and stress um, maybe the stress may have been a big, big factor in my body's way of shutting, saying that's you know enough you know and not exactly eating healthy and my body's way of shutting down I think I already mentioned that in my other videos so just be sure to check them I've uploaded most of them and, uh, and on Facebook so, this is kind of, mainly these videos I make, it's just mainly for my family and my friends and people who are going through maybe the same similar things or maybe can relate to. Um, as far as uh, what I've been doing the past few days, I've been um, caught up with my friend Sam and me and him have been hanging out quite a bit. We went to school together, I've already told you that in many of the videos, but I'm kind of recovering in that again. Fluffy! No! He's trying to go after my... Baby's breath, uh, flowers, uh, over there, 
don't know if you can see him. Fluffy, no! He's not listening to me. Now he is, because we went right over there. <laughs> anyway, um... I'm happy that I'm wanting to do things, because before, um, I was having, um, a great deal of trouble, um, as far as feeling not like myself, and kind of feeling disconnected, and, and, uh, detached from things, sounds, and noises, um, um, movies and things on TV about death or hearing about death or or doors closing. Um, just if I like I was on the ceiling. This was going on for the past few months. It was until now. I've been doing. I think a lot better compared to than I was a few months ago. Um, I wish I could share those other videos, but um, I really. In a way, kind of don't want to go back and relive that and see that, but then again, it's something I think I need to face so I know, you know, that I can get through this, you know, and that I'm not going to go through this alone. That the Lord Jesus Christ has got me through this all this way, through, you know, where He's leading me, um, where I feel. You can't just always go on what you feel, but in my heart, I feel. That he's leading me in the directions to the like, um, like the outpatient program was okay, but I felt like maybe he was kind of telling me, kind of give yourself a break, you know. And then with the counseling with the uh, Sally, um, to continue with her and not with Nancy Wilkerson, because Nancy Wilkerson, um, even though it's in a profession that she is Christian and that's what she, um, combines into. Um, with her education as far as um, a therapist counselor and and whatever else it says on her website. Um, it really wasn't working, even though my family and stuff was able to sit in and things. It just wasn't working out after six visits, and then she wasn't really taking notes or anything and asking the same question sometimes at the next visit, and she just kind of starting to really agitate, aggravate, or my mom was starting to get annoyed because my mom was noticing a lot of things that I thought maybe I was, you know, it was just all in my mind, you know, and and then my husband was agreeing, even though he went to visits. But, um, I'm not saying she's a bad counselor. I think she's all right, but I really wanted to see the part as far as the spiritual part as far as with, you know, the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ talked about him during the sessions as far as with getting better through him, as far as through him getting well, because we don't get well on our own. And we don't just get well with just by our education, what we go to school for as far as to be a doctor or a psychiatrist or counselor or whatever, because God works through them to make it possible for them to even do, you know, the, you know, the psychiatry, the therapy and the counseling and stuff. And so, uh, I don't really know what else to say on that. Basically, I'm seeing Sally, which is troublesome that she, I'm not going to be able to see her for two weeks. I forgot what she said, but I'll be seeing her somewhere, I think, on the 22nd, I think, of November. I don't remember. Uh, so... That's basically it right now. Um, yesterday, like, um, I went and got my hair trimmed. I think, I don't know if I, forgive me if I'm repeating myself, but got my hair trimmed. I actually supposed to wait every three months. My bangs grow extremely fast, so it's best to get my bangs cut every month. And, uh, it was nice just to go in and get a shampooing. And today I hope to get my hair dyed, you know, what the color it is at the bottom. You can tell it's dark at the top. Um... I miss my blonde hair, and then um, at a young age, just started getting gray hairs at a very young age. I think my mom says I take more after my dad. He started getting them at a very young age, too, and so I um, plan on doing that. And just me and my friend Sam, we've been hanging out at his place for a little bit, feeding his dog, and, and going to, like, stores, you know, and um, I'm helping me um, be able to give me some driving instruction tips, you know, the best that he can, and, 
direction stuff. It's going to take me some time. And I definitely want to be able to study for my driver's test to be able to get my driver's license so I can get out more and um, places, you know, where it's not always involving money, you know. Um, just to get out and do things, you know. Rather, it's like like me getting into painting class, though it's $10, you have to come up with your own material. It's not that expensive, but the materials can be. It's just wherever you're at and wherever you're wanting to work on, really. I think she, um, Mary, um, kind of works with you on that and shares some of the supplies that she has. She does it Wednesdays and Thursdays at Hobby Lobby. And I learned about it by walking into a paint aisle section and a lady that came from a painting class was just kind of like looking at the painting by numbers and told me that there's actually, I think, paint art class. And I was like, oh, really? And that's something I thought by doing. But I, like I said, I feel like I've been kind of overexerting myself. I haven't really gotten to my other paintings by numbers, things I've been buying. And so I'm thinking, um, since I didn't go this week, maybe go next week, Wednesday, and um, or Thursday. I want to go on a day where my husband can come so he can kind of see, you know, what he thinks about it. Again, I think that has to do with the codependency thing, um, going on what others may think. I'm kind of getting like, well, really, I feel like I'm getting like a second opinion or a third opinion. So I feel like I'm not wasting my time and my money. And really, that's something I know I need to figure out on my own, um, which I think I will in time if I go a handful of times, maybe a couple times or whatever, if it's something for me. Or maybe some a few things I could pick up and learn and maybe just do it at home. I don't know. Um, I know I need to get back into reading the Bible, you know, and um, I did go to church last Sunday. I know it's not something you have to do. It's where you go to fellowship and worship and rejoice together. But I really would like my family to at home to be able to do that together and get closer to God and things. And as part of me being sick, I feel like I'm in between being sick and then the spiritual part of trying to get my life right with, you know, Lord Jesus Christ, you know, and and just uh, just trying to get better and and hopefully try to keep everybody that cares about me, that loves me, my family, my friends, up to date. Um, I don't think I'll be doing these videos all the time. Um, because there's a lot of things that take place, you know, throughout the day, and I don't remember where I got other things going on in my mind. But I think it has slowed down some of the thinking, but I feel just really overexcited and kind of exerting myself and putting a lot of things on my plate, like I said. And, um, I'm thinking the medicine's working, but I, that's what I for, forgot to ask, or I did ask my therapist. Um, but I think that's something we're going to have to learn along the way through therapy and counseling. What it is to feel like, to feel better, you know, and things. And I believe through reading the Word, you know, and the Scriptures, it will lead you and guide you, you know, in your life and your worst times and troubles. Because, um... It's not going to be easy. God allows some things to happen to make us stronger, to help us to learn to lean more on Him and to uh, give us strength and to have faith and to believe in Him and go to Him, you know. I think why He allows some things, but not to hurt us or anything like that. But today, um, I'm going to go to Great Clips. I'm not sure where else. Maybe work on my paint by numbers. Um... I was thinking of going to Oldman Park because I think my daughter was wanting something from Oldman Park and I can't remember what it was. Oh, uh, no, yeah, Oldman Park's a target because she just wants some shoes and maybe doing that for her. Um, this is the Frisk Control. I think it's uh, Evening Primrose Aloe um, Solution by Great Clips Ante Freeze uh, Serum, small bottle. 1099, but there's a bigger bottle, and I'm not sure if it's the same brand or not, but it's supposed to help where your hair's not flying, you know, and stuff. I actually need to find actually some good stuff for my face, because my face gets really oily, and I don't know, I've never been able to actually get rid of my, you know, pimples and stuff and things like that. 
because I know maybe that's to do with bathing because it's another thing I wanted to talk about how it affects I don't know if it's part of just being lazy or just the depression and it's been going on for a long time where I have like these streaks where I take a bath shower you know every other day or every three after three days or at the end of the week and sometimes it goes longer after that just I don't know maybe it has to do with my mood and the mood swings I'm not sure but I think that's what the medicine is supposed to help out with with, um, I guess with him gradually increasing that, maybe that's supposed to help that, I'm not certain. Any advice or tips, um, please feel free to comment. For those of you who have nothing nice to say, and nothing but, you know, uh, you know, just to, just being rude and just inconsiderate and disrespectful and just, you know, trolling and stuff, your comments will just be deleted. It won't even be even reread, you know. But um, maybe the first few um, letters of um, words or whatever to your comment, you know, I can be able to tell right away if it, where it's going to lead into, and it will be deleted. And you won't uh, actually get that, what you think, um, attention that you're seeking. Um, this video is stacked for people who are going through depression, panic anxiety, codependency disorder, and whatever um, disorder and maybe real relate to. Um, I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor. I don't know a lot. Um, like I said, this video is just for family and friends. For those of you on YouTube who would like to um, become friends, who can relate and maybe have questions or advice, please feel free. Um, but anyways, in closing, um, I'd like to thank you all for watching and um, hopefully if I can think of anything else I may make another video if not but I guess I just I think I'm just going to try to make the video as a day that I'm in the moment where I'm able to um, as I get quite busy with my paintings and stuff and other things and, and then trying to re go back and retract my tracks as far as what I've done already through the week and um just to let you all know how I'm doing as far as my medications and things like that. And uh, so basically, I think I'm going to get great clips. Um, maybe a Target today. Um, I have to look at my list of to do things. I need to find some sun in stuff for my hair because I'm going to be dyeing my hair tonight. And maybe make a video of that, show you how that my hair turned out. Um, I actually did a real great job about when we were living at Aspen Lodge back in 2009 or was it 2011 or 10 when he dyed my hair he, he did a real good job he basically dyed it like a light blonde not platinum and then after that we put like some sun in after we washed out the hair dye you know you know when you rinse afterwards and you lock the you know uh, dye in and of course I'm probably going to need a new shampoo for color treated hair which I'm going to talk to maybe Kelly I think her name is and see what her recommendation is for that um, as far as what all shampoos to use um, I'm liking the shampoos that she's recommended so far um, maybe I could show you another video on that and as, after I get my hair dyed and maybe next week I'll probably try and get the care, color hair solution stuff where it's supposed to protect your hair because so dyeing your hair and stuff damages your hair it's not something I recommend doing but um, but if the gray hairs are really bothering you, and you know the your hair being darkened, you know, and missing your hair being light, you know, you can always go and have it done professionally. But do your homework. Just don't go just to anyone, or it's gonna be a mess. Um, I plan on doing mine um, at home. I uh, things from I got from Sally's. Was getting things from Walmart. But we're trying something different this time with a Sally's um, hair dye solution. Um, but anyways, I thank you all for watching. And um, I love you. God bless you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And uh, may God uh, shine upon you and keep you. I don't know the rest of the scripture, but it's one of my favorites. Um, love you all. And I hope to make a video, hopefully, sometime um, within the next few days or the near future. But you all take care now.
Thanks for watching.